Hello everybody, good evening. I hope you hear and see me well. It's glad to see that uh, so many people have gathered again to listen to listen about this awesome project that I'm going to present to you today. And I hope you will you will get a great uh, a great information out of this webinar and and i'm going to share you some some insights as well as some something what uh, happened in january when i visited uh, the united arab emirates so i will show you the pictures of of our innovation center from there but um, hmm, i can say that the progress has been very rapid and very fast and then everything happens uh, according to the plan and today as you might know or or if you mm, are here uh, hearing this information for the first time or you are hearing this presentation for the first time then a uh, little bit background I will show you a little bit uh, the background of, of our project. So basically this project is, as you can see behind me, it's a second level string, pre-stressed string transportation technology. So it's elevated. And today we have two demonstration and certification centers already, well, working in, uh, in uh, well, the certification pro pro uh, processes go goes on there and, and uh, well, a lot of delegations from all around the world visit our demonstration and certification centers constantly. So each month we receive um, news about uh, how delegation from Africa, for example, or from Argentina, for example, or from India or from European countries uh, visit our uh, demonstration centers. But yes, the first one, which uh, the company started building or constructing um, was or is Eco Techno Park. So it's located in Belarus near Minsk, about half uh, half an hour drive from there in Marina Korka, to be exact. So there is our first demonstration certification center called Eco Techno Park. And they started construct, uh, the construction started there back in 2015 so about seven uh, seven approximately seven eight years ago but there we have more than seven different road structures already placed we have uh, different models already certified by russian and belarus standards mm, as well as well many times people have uh, visited that well all the investors and uh, people in, in uh, with similar interest have visited this site there to see it on with their own eyes there is a um, there is a museum for example where uh, a lot of uh, in uh, many investors have them uh, have their names graved in the ceiling for example the first investors and then uh, 2019 was the last time when people had chance to go there and that that day that's 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 that one that that is one special day which is called eco festival which happened uh, each year before the coronavirus and um, hopefully it will happen again soon but um, it, it happened each day and each year sorry uh, it was one special day each year and about five thousand and more people visited that each time so that's really awesome and I myself got the chance to visit that that same demonstration center uh, also back in 2019 and I will show you uh, one picture as well of it during the webinar and then um, what is more the second demonstration and certification center is located in United Arab Emirates in Saja so it's basically again half an hour drive from dubai it's it's next emirate to dubai and there we have a big area we have um, two tracks already placed first track uh, was placed um, back in 2021 if if i'm uh, correct 
but uh, about two years it has already been there that one is uh, for the first track is 400 meters long and it's already certified as well is certified the tropical unicar which uh, which has has done a lot of test drives there so basically we have also a tropical unicar which is certified that's a model for transporting four people at the same time and it's luxurious uh, version of, of our model and now just recently and i'm going to show you some pictures as well the completion of track structure uh, was finished um, of the track number uh, four so it was second track that uh, that has it uh, the track structure lifted but the, the name of the track structure is track structure number four and we have another one as well there well it's not so it's not the best well slide you see it but uh, it's in the edge it's cutting the edge these supports so there's a straight line of uh, of supports on the right side of this uh, slide i will show you later on as well and so the track for uh, well the track structure uh, will be also uh, made there or placed there quite soon yes so but anyway just a second here I'm, uh, let me some slide and uh, anyhow the um, anyhow i visited sorry for the delay i visited um, the site myself well not uh, i was not well next to the track structure so, so i would did not well enter the um, premises but i drive drove through or drove uh, next to it as you can see on this slide so this is the roundabout on the left side which is not on the slide which is not visible on the slide there is the sarge american university and on the right side uh, there is the innovation center the main building yes so but uh, if, if you take a look at the slide then you can see these cars there i drove the same way and now i show you what i saw so here it is this is the innovation center the, the main building buildings here and skyway yes here it is these are new ones these are uh, terminals one is container terminal and the, the other one is cargo and passenger uh, terminal so the the cargo and passenger terminal is completed and the container terminal will be uh, completed um, quite soon so there has to be the track lifting process uh, yet to be made and then we can start testing our new models and start certifying it and then um, demonstrating it but the difference is the difference of these two tracks are basically i will show you the next slide as well you can see uh, basically the first one is made for passenger and for cargo which is the lightweight cargo so up to um, 30 to 50 tons um, has to hold the way track structure and uh, the other one in the background that one has to hold uh, more than 50,000 kilograms so that's why it's for these uh, containers sea containers which are very heavy uh, way very heavy and then uh, therefore the supports also has to be in more um, uh, after, uh, well in more shorter distances than with the cargo and passenger terminal which you can see on the previous slides as well yeah here you can see so basically this is the track structure number four um, the first track structure here next to the road um, the asphalted road is track structure number four by its name and the other one is track track traction number two which yet has uh, no rails uh, elevated so basically but the, but the supports are much more close to each other because they have to hold a lot of um, um, much more way uh, way above than the first track here next to the asphalted road so that's that's the difference and of course as you might know the um, 
we can lift the track structures up to 100 meters above the ground. And then uh, also behind me here, these supports, or oh, sorry, <laughs> these supports here um, can be after each few kilometers, the distance between them. So that's, that's, that's another great thing to understand. But of course, it's uh, more expensive than as well. But yeah, that's what that that was a little bit the insight that everything goes according to plan. We have uh, almost finished, we can say, and the testing of new models should start soon as well because the models still come from the Belarus. They are uh, constructing them there, and then they sent them via different well via a long route because of all this. Um, geopolitical uh, happenings. It has to take a much longer route, but when it gets there, then the testing will immediately start. But uh, how the container depot will look like, it's uh, on the slide here. And what is great thing to, to recognize here as well is that we can use both sides of the track. So we can be on the upper side, like here on the slide, and we can be in the hanging mode as well. So beneath the road structure. And therefore, it's double efficiency. Another thing to notice if we think about uh, how today the sea containers are transported one, one, or from one point to another or from one place to another is mainly via ships or trains or trucks. But train ships and trucks, they're, well, uh, some average speed is about 20 to 30 kilometers per hour. Well, because trains and ships are slow, uh, slower and trucks have to, well, the drivers have to do mandatory stops. There is a traffic, um, which I have to comp uh, comprehend in mind. And therefore it, uh, it lowers the average speed. But with Skyway, there are no obstacles on the way because we are elevated. We are on the second level. We can ride above the, basically above the houses, above the forest, above the first level infrastructure and used to both sides. But the average speed is, uh, well, or the maximum speed, let's say so, is more than 100 kilometers per hour. So it's about um, four to five times uh, faster than uh, alternatives at the moment. And we can use both sides as well. So double efficiency on, on that side. And the loading time and unloading time is less than one minute. So that's also a great thing. But yeah, here are more some pictures. And this is how it will look like, like very soon. Now, uh, I will show you just some brief pictures how the rails were installed on the track number four in Sarsha. That that's the track which uh, which was next to the um, uh, well the road which I drove myself, and here you can see how they are lifted with cranes, of course, um, and then uh, quietly. First, we have to uh, install or put the, put the rails from the beginning to till the end. The whole track will be covered, and then they will start lifting it one by one. And I will show you more pictures. Yeah, yeah. You can see the mechanism, how it's how it's done. So it, it looks really massive, and then, uh, but but the, on the other hand, it looks very simple. First, we place the track on the ground floor, and then we start elevating it. There are special equipments which will hold the track. Uh, well, where where there are the supports, then the track will be lifted to at, to a certain point. Then we go to the next support and then one by one, we will lift them until they are as high as it's uh, needed to be. And another great uh, news is that the successful certification of intermediate support for the fourth test track uh, was well done. And therefore it's a guarantee for the investors for the, well, for the um, potential clients, as well as the company itself, that we are on the right road, on the right path. We are doing everything according to the, all the given um, uh, 
yeah, uh, I think all the given uh, necessary points, which have to be well successfully finished before we can say it's uh, secure, it's it's working as it should be working, it's safe, and then and, then and, uh, and everything is is well good. So that's another great news. All right, let's go to the second part. And just take a sip. Mm. Let's go to the second part now. And let me welcome you to the new age. So yes, we are 21st century technology. As you know, most of the commercial technologies, let it be buses, trains, trams, uh, those are from back from 19th century. So anything much, much anything hasn't changed uh, quite a lot, lot of time. Of course, we are going more toward electricity as well as Skyway is fully electrical. But um, on the other hand, uh, most of the technology, for example, like monorail or maglev, those are made or uh, designed already, already a long time ago. But yes, let's see why Skyway, why it's uh, it's this technology, not some other technologies. But the greater of the technology is uh, Dr. Anatoly Unitsky, and he has said as well that uh, all the closest competitors are about ten years or more behind us, because well, on the first hand, everything is patented by him or by the company so, so and then it has so so many great um, great aspects that it's very difficult to copy them without well uh, if, if we think about we have patents it's, it's very difficult to copy this yes. but Siemens uh, workers wanted to or guys wanted to buy some of the patents that the Skyway has, but of course, they were politely told that it's not available. But first point is that the Skyway technology is innovative. It's, as I said, 21st century technology. And if you look at the slide, so this is basically the first track uh, structure or the first support of the 400 meter track, which was placed in Sarcha about two years ago, and it's fully uh, working there and uh, in in work, so to say. So that's that's uh, one thing. And on on the other hand, on the other hand, we have these derailment systems, motor wheels. So basically, if you think about the cable cars, for example, which are very popular all around the world. For example, in in Vietnam, in uh, Phu Quoc Island, there is the longest in the world. And I know that in Russia there is in the United States there uh, there are many of of the cable car tracks in most of the ski resorts. Uh, that's the same technology, the the cable car technology. But with cable car, for example, the main difference. Well, if if you compare it to cable car and then Skyway, the main difference is that uh, with cable car the cable moves, so there is a engine in one uh, end of the track structure which constantly spins and moves the gable, but the cars or the cabins or the models, those stay on the same spot constantly. So they're like sued there. And when the cable moves, then the cars move as well or along with that cable. But the average speed of course is very low and it's, it's about 15, 20 kilometers uh, maximum per hour. And it's, uh, well, it's mainly for touristic attractions. But if we think about solving many, many challenges we have today, or what we are facing as humanity today in most of the biggest cities as well, because in most of the biggest cities, we already have all these fabulous first level infrastructure models or, or technologies, cars, uh, tramways, trolley buses. We even, even have underground technologies like um, subways. But the challenges still occur because the people go more and more to the cities to live there, to work there, to have social life there. And therefore, it causes challenges like traffic jams and so on. But it's impossible to tear down the ancient or the old buildings in, in the city centers or in the cities and, and just to widen roads. 
and therefore the only reasonable and quite soon i believe in 10 15 20 years it's it's very necessary to go to the second level to give more volume to the to the societies or to the economy through through the transportation systems so the people could get from one point to another much faster much smoother and everything would be much more logical without mm, disturbing the first level infrastructure or the first level mm, uh, movements but yes so we skyway models we have uh, motor wheels and basically the track structure stay, stays all the time constantly at the same place as you saw on the, the first slides i showed you where they elevated the track structure so the track structure stays there and then the models will be placed on the track structures which have their own batteries their own motor wheels and they're working fully on electricity uh, electricity and so the motor wheels will carry the models on the track structures or underneath the track, track structure. So we have, we can use yes, both sides, depending on the track structure, because this one behind me, the, basically the monorail there, on top of that, we cannot drive there. We have to be just on, just as, as it's uh, shown there. But yes, with uh, the track structure, which comes for the C container, C containers, for example, on those, we can use both sides. So we have more than seven different track structures actually. So that's, that's quite long. Yes, and here you can see on that one, we can use both sides. And this picture was made in Ecofest 2019. Yeah. And now let's go inside the rails. Inside the rails, basically there are these three stress string punches, as you can see here as well. And then they are filled mm, not the strings, but the rails are filled with special filler to smoothen the or the ride to lower the or to re reduce the uh, noise reduction uh, reduce the noise uh, volume and it's even possible to take these tubes through the track structure to carry through the through these tubes all different kind of um, well electricity wires or cables uh, con uh, ethernet cables so basically connection um, infrastructure it's possible to take through these track structures as well yes so this picture is made by myself i'm very proud of it back in 2019 when that one was that that year was the last year when we held or when the company held um, openly uh, mega fest so basically this event for for the investors more than 5,000 investors went there to see it all with their own eyes we even got the chance to ride with this model so yes that one also there is unicar up high about 12 meters 10 to 12 meters and we had the chance to ride with it i had the chance it was very smooth and perfect and just a view that's amazing and uh, whenever this event should happen again let it be in belarus or in united arab emirates i'm uh, i'm inviting you all to come there because uh, it will be an awesome event and if you are an investor and if you're a vegan vegan investor and if you're an active partner as well to the company and you want to share this information and uh, and invite more investors on board to well to to help help the process of developing it then i much like to see everybody of you there because that, that will that will give you the glimpse of what's going to happen in the future and hopefully in the near future. Yes. Now let's continue. And um, oh yeah, second part. All right. The second point is eco ecology. So uh, let's see how Skyway helps with, uh, well, with the environment, because as we know, the environment is very important because this is just one planet where we all have to live. And if we ruin this planet, then it's very, very difficult for, for the next generations to live a great life here. So therefore we need to think about it and, and understand it. So yes. 
so it, it, it will be it will be an awesome the first slide is co uh, is talking about co2 levels so, so this is one of the main points at the moment mm, within uh, all different governments around the world to, dec to discuss because we want uh, well the governments and the societies want to reduce the, C uh, the co2 direct emissions well let's say about 100 percent and therefore uh, the electrical cars are making its turn and then are visible all around the world today and then as we know the the governments even at least in europe even want to ban the new production of of uh, of uh, cars with engines that uh, that uh, put co2 level co2 emissions in in the air so skyways fully working on electricity so therefore there are no direct co2 level emissions and yeah here i kind of briefly already discussed this thing with you that we cannot widen these roads and then the people come more to the cities to live there and therefore it's it's quite difficult to to um, well to just tear down the houses and there aren't well, solutions, new solutions needed. And since we have so great infrastructure already on the first level, the most reasonable solution is to go to the second, to, to go to the second level. But on the right side up there, um, where the seaports, uh, where, where there is one example of the seaport, basically China is constructing these ports all around the world and they take a lot of land. Uh, but with Skyway, it's possible to take the special platforms to the sea, about five kilometers to the sea, and the ships can take their sea containers there. And from these special platforms, we can take sea containers with Skyway technology to the mainland. So therefore, we wouldn't need to construct these, uh, well, these, uh, these canals, for example, like Swiss Canal is and then so on. And we could solve many, many of these new challenges with Skyway technology as well in the future. Then, in going back to the city life, uh, these guys there with the hats are called pushers. So basically, their job is to push last people on the trains. It's very normal in Japan, but if we think about it uh, logically, then it's it's well, it's not the most comfortable way to travel. At least if, if we are the last people and even if we are the first people to get on board and we want to, for example, exit the, the next station, <laughs> then it's, it's quite impossible. But with Skyway, we can solve this problem because, well, there are these terminals. There will be these terminals in uh, next to every bigger track structure, which are these terminals, which are made only for where for charging, for maintaining models, and basically where um, travelers won't, won't go. But there are plenty of models just waiting or under, for example, maintenance or recharging, as I mentioned you. And when the traffic jams happen, when the rush hours happen, those models, depending on how many people come, they can well, the artificial intelligence system will say that we need 10 more models on the track structures, so they will uh, come there to the main main track and start serving people. So therefore, it's possible to, if you think about the maximum or the minimum time, we can put um, the models, for example, Unicars, to leave stations after each uh, three seconds. But of course, we have to think about uh, how much time or calculate how much time people need to get on board and get off board. So therefore, the three seconds, of course, is not reasonable and it's not possible. So it can be about 30 seconds to one minute. But with trains, with subways, it's about seven minutes, 10 minutes and so on. So therefore, with Skyway, we can uh, transport much more people uh, faster from uh, from one point to another point and solve these situations as you can see here on the on the slide yeah and another thing and aspect e about the ecological part 
is saving um, energy and about, uh, and with uh, with this topic um, the skyway models have been made uh, so they they can cut wind perfectly so they have they made the body of the shape is to cut wind absolute maximum at the absolute at their best and the another aspect is that there is no screen effect so basically we're about the ground elevated and the wind can go perfectly beneath our models but with cars for example there is a asphalt road or, or another road structure which causes this screen effect and therefore the wind resistance so the wind resistance is about well a little bit less than 10 times uh, uh, more with cars than it is with uh, skyway models yeah and thinking about all this um, all that money and energy that goes to to maintain to rebuild to clean for example the roads and with trains as well as with chips during the winter time we need to clear the path there are these special heavy trains for example and the special um, ships that clear the path for the commercial trains it, it's it's all um, resources which go there but with skyway we are elevated we we need land just as much as for the supports and and uh, otherwise it's um, well there can grow plants there can be pedestrians um, traffic and so on beneath it so that's why it's it's very awesome yeah the same story here as well just take a look at it it's it's absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. and yes we can go over the seas over the lakes over the rivers oh i see mm, Miralov, miralovich has asked when will we see the first commercial project and where and actually that's a good question and that's good that i saw it at this point because the first uh, real commercial project should happen in belarus mm, uh, as dr Antonitsky has always said that the, probably the first one will be in belarus near minsk and over one little lake and uh, that one of course will be um, like this emotional project but still the people have to pay to get on board to uh, to ride from one point to another one but then will be a small project but should be the first one and we should see it quite soon as well because as Anatoly Niski said in his last interview um, he mentioned it so I recommend you to see that interview as well but yes all right safety but uh, safety aspects we will talk uh, next time and here we will pause and uh, we will pause and we will continue exactly in two weeks. I'm sorry, it's getting dark here. Uh, I just don't want to get up at the moment to turn on the lights, but I hope you still see me. And I hope you don't mind that it's getting dark. But yes, some years ago, Dalai Lama also gave his blessing to Dr. Antoniski and to the project when uh, Unitsky visited uh, his, re uh, his eminence in his residence and said that this will be a difficult path for you that you have chosen but eventually you will be successful and the world really needs your technology so we have this uh, so to say spiritual spiritual support as well but yes uh, next time we will uh, talk about the new news uh, and I will share you uh, another four reasons why Skyway is here to say, and we are starting from security. So how security is, how safe it is, and why it's safe, and so on. And then we talk about a little bit about money as well, how much it costs, and then comparing with other technologies, and how big is our team, and so on. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for visiting and uh, we will see you quite soon on 30 of march the same time so stay tuned stay positive stay healthy and let's keep working and moving on goodbye